So our four chord in the key of D is a G. Um, we were playing that here. There's your G major. Um, there's a root here and here. So we're going to lower this root a whole step and you get a shape that looks like this. Moving up the neck, we have this G here with the root here. Um, and the flat seven is here. It's another common G dominant chord. And the last one is G here. Here's your root, you're gonna lower it a whole step. This particular shape is a, uh, just a triad actually, it's actually a diminished triad. But um, I don't, you know, think about it like a G dominant is how I would think about it at this point in the game. Three options for a G dominant chord. Um, what I would do is I'd practice them moving from a major chord to a dominant chord, each one of them. And really being able to start to hear that change. That little chromatic motion is also helpful for soloing as well.